Hello everyone, welcome back to FA Channel with Paris. In this episode, we're coming back to the topics about v Red Avatar because they just released a new stable version updates, which is quite different than the beta version. And we've been waiting for it for a while. So I give it a try. The background is the, I made like a super deformed version of my avatar, like try to make it like the, the Funko uh, character that you buy from store. I really like that. Anyway, so I used that example and tried all the, most of the updates that I really interested in and then give some explanation about how it works and which updates are um, useful. So yeah, let's start it and go take a look together. Okay, now I'm in VRoy Studio. Um, try the new updated version. My model is made from the beta version of Vroid. So they officially updated, released the stable version, stable version. So it gotta be stable. <laughs> oh, let's try the stable version. So I just, I'm just trying. So convert a beta. Before you can start editing a model, import it from the beta version. You need to convert this data. Now creating new converted data. So yeah, so basically, uh, if you already have a beta version of your Vroid avatar and you want to uh, change to the stable version, you have to convert it first. So select the save destination, convert. Okay, so you just select the location in your computer and converting the model would take like a couple minutes I assume <laughs> I can't wait to see how to change my I don't think I will see if I will change my avatar I just want to try all these new features very excited to see all the new features seems like it's getting so much more flexible functions and easier to make your avatar. And yeah, let's try. Let's go. So just oh, no, now loading. Please wait for a moment, okay? Open. Voila! I'm here. Oh, the car looks a bit lighter. Okay. So <laughs> I'm scared. We all change to some weird character okay let me change myself to this sd character like i want to make sd characters uh super super deformed character of my avatar it's like a the funk huh what does it say funko pop version of me <laughs> okay let's try so i'm not gonna change my face too much oh then i should change okay so I'm not gonna change my face too much. I really like my face. <laughs> I will change my body. I wanna make my head like super big. So, so before, so on the official Vroid studios, that when they um, release this stable version, they're saying they add more parameters. So it means you can change body shape. Before you can't change your body shape. It, it basically means it's more customizable. So of course I'm gonna change my body shape, especially my head size. <laughs> head width. Ah! Oh no, that's width. Head size. Wow! <laughs> ah! This is crazy. Is that too big? <laughs> it would be bigger. Oh, like you know the Funko. Size, maybe my face should be more round. Yeah, more cute shape of my face. Anyway, if I save this, my well, old one's still there, right? Oh. <laughs> head tip. What's head tip? Oh, like the top part. No. Neck thickness.
Ah, perfect. Yeah. Motor. Yeah, better. Ah, better. There. I think that's okay. Anyway, it's way more flexible than before. There's so many options. Make your own, like unique. You can do whatever you want. This is amazing. Really cool. I feel like before I almost have to draw everything, right? Okay. Let's not waste too much time here. I like what I got. I want to see the hairstyle. Oh, not hairstyle. Out, outfit. Outfit, I can change. Another update is the skin. Set skin mask. How do you do that? Okay. So you're in the, the, the presets, right? If I choose. Ah, oh, let's choose this. Like a school uniform, uniform, and say if I choose this, oh, where's the go back to top? You'll see the preset here. Added texture, save for this temporary item. So I'm wearing this school outfit right now. You'll see the texture here, and then you click. Click skin mask default design. You will see that this black parts are covered, the skin that is covered by the clothes. So this map one apparently is the body texture. And then once we wear, I think the software, the, the new update, the stable version, just erase, erase the skin that inside the clothes, so make it transparent. So even though if for example, if we move, sometimes the skin pop off. <laughs> it sounds scary, but but it won't show it because it's transparent. Okay, so say if you have part of the skin that still pop up, right? Maybe you, your clothes is weird shaped. I don't know, in different kind of situation, you can mask by it yourself in Photoshop too, to make your skin transparent. This is the same theory, but basically, if you do like with Be Right Studio new stable version, they will do it by itself automatically. That ah, <laughs> and yeah, so that's the skin mask updates. Cool. So now another update. Close with see. Save the animal item. And then now we're trying this another update set that you can add it to two model without quitting. Because before you have to quit and then open a new. So now let's try back to model selection. So try the left corner, back to model selection. Before the logout, do you want to save the model we're editing? Yeah. I think so. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, then I want to add it a partner's avatar or just just open like that. You don't I didn't quit. Yay, I can make it crazy too. <laughs> no, I think that's it. I Yeah, so please try and see if you find it really easy with the new updated version, the stable version. The only thing that I want to mention is that with this new version, you we can't do perfect sync yet. Uh, if you want to know what is perfect sync and everything, we have videos about it. So we can, I'm waiting for other people to do it. <laughs> I think not yet doesn't mean it's not happening. We'll keep an eye on it. At this moment, I think it's really hard. We're using Phase Forge. We're using Phase Forge to apply Perfect Sync, but we can't do it yet. So, but once we can, we'll keep you updated. So another thing I want to try is this Visualize function. I don't know what's this camera. Let's try. 
Oh, cool. So, <laughs> the photo booth, and when you click on the camera on the right side, uh, oh, look at them. Oh, what's this? Oh, I get, oh, wow, that's so cool. So I can like change, I can blink with that basic expression, that neutral, smiling. Ah, eyebrow smiling. Yeah, why not smile? Closed. Oh, I can do all this function, like the setup for my. <laughs> and then poses, stand by. Wow, wow. <laughs> my head's so big. Hey! Ah, yay. Oh, that's cute. Yay. So background. Oh, I have to import a background. Let's try the green background. Zero, zero, FF, zero, zero. Yay. You can choose different color. Lighting. Oh, yeah, I can change the lighting as well. Nice. Wind. What's that? Oh, the wing! That's cute. Ah! Post processing. Post processing. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like different future. Motion blur. <laughs> cool. Pick size and you can change the size of the picture. Ah! Nice. Oh. <laughs> Okay, like that. And take photo. Whee! This is best part. Funko me. <laughs> cool. And then exporting. Let's try the exporting. How do I export? Oh, this is exporting. Upload to Vroy Hub or export as VRM. So export as a VRM. Let's try. Just exporting. So they have options of reduce the polygon and stuff we don't really need. Just export. So yeah. This is all the setting. I'm not gonna do it. Basically the same with before. Um uh, also you can export to be right hub. Upload to be right hub. Uh, log in. The window pop up right away when I click on this exporting. Upload to VRI Hub. It's like that. VRI Hub show up. And then upload to VRI Hub as a new character. Okay. OH. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Character SD. Me. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. Take a whole body picture to be used as a thumbnail. Okay. I think I already took one. Okay. That is so cute. I now I get this full body photo and the portrait. <laughs> Upload. I froze. <laughs> Processing now and into the feet right hub upload it this way. Yay, I'm here. Check me out. <laughs> so yeah, oh it's super cool. I love it. So easy, so much more easier. Yeah, please try and let us know if you have any problem. Like, look how clean. It's very clean. Hmm. So cool. Ah, I'm so cute. <laughs> Genki. Like, how to say, full of energy. Kind of. Okay, so this is my new v -Roid. 
you SD me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it for today's episode. I think I did a pretty good explanation about everything. I'm still waiting for them about these updates on the perfect sync part. I think that's the only thing. I, I can't use that perfect sync with a new character talking with you guys. But if you are start from scratch, I think it's going to be way easier to use the new um, stable version. And yeah, let us know if you have any questions. That's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe the next video is about real me in Tokyo. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Because <laughs> now I can literally like create content with virtual life and the real life. So hopefully enjoy that too. I will see you guys in new videos. Take care. Bye bye.